Chateau Tony Allo, president of North American Bouguet Society. Today I'd like to speak about one of the disciplines that we study in Kazanoreu Bouguet Ogawaha. It is the art of Tensen Jitsu. The fan was an accessory carried by samurai either in his hands or in his obi, especially in ceremonial dress. The folding fan also played a large part in Japanese etiquette. They were also used on formal occasions. You would rarely see the Tensen out of a samurai's possession. The Tensen, literally the iron fan, was either a folding fan with metal blades, which looks like this, or it would be a solid bar shaped like a fan. The forerunner to the Tensen, the Gunbi Uchiwa, was a solid fan used by officers to signal the soldiers in the battlefield. The Gusen, or folding war fan, was frequently carried by the Bushi in their armor and was used for either offense or defense. The samurai was often disarmed, such as when performing domestic chores at leisure or when meeting a superior. While visiting others' homes, for example, a warrior was generally required to leave both swords with an attendant. So armed with just the Tensen in the Obi, the samurai was never really empty-handed or unarmed. There are many legends regarding combat involving the Tensen or the Iron Fan. The hero of, these of many of these stories, Yoshitasune, allegedly learned swordsmanship and Tensen Jitsu secrets from the Tengu, mystical beings who were supposed to be experts in martial arts. Now that we've taken a brief look into some of the history of the Tensen, we're going to look at a couple of the techniques that we do in Tensen Jitsu in Bugay and get a feel for how it would be done in a situation where we would have to use it when we were not carrying our swords. So some of the target points that we are going to look for when we're using a Tensen, for instance, is I would like to strike on the radial bone or the ulna and this will create a tremendous amount of pain uh, it'll shatter bones, it'll break bones and so coming from the top to the ulna coming from underneath to the radial bone another point that we want to look at here is I want to go to the superior temporal bone line which comes across the temple towards the mandible these are some of the targets that we're going to be working with striking today. 